Hey guys, this is Wolf Rod and welcome. Hmm. My name is today. I'm gonna make a video on the game I've been working on. So by the title, you can probably guess that's in C++, in that it is a text-based RPG game. Hmm. Actually, if I say RPG game, that'd be saying role-playing game. Game would make sense. So. It has over 200 lines of code, a little bit over 200 lines of code. It's not that much, actually. I have the libraries up here, my class up here, then some of my um, integers and stuff, my variables, and some functions, and then the main function. Right now, I, w I only have the items like swords and daggers and stuff and, um, you know, shields or not shields, armor and stuff as integers. But I want to change them and make them part of a class. I was going to say, um, I will make them more advanced, but I just learned what class is and I'm going to use that to further upgrade my game. Also, the combat system is probably the biggest thing I've worked on. This chunk of code right here you see on the screen. Well, when I was just, your attack equals the enemies, or more like, your attack equals your strength, subtract your enemy's defense, or your willpower, subtract your enemy's defense. Man, that sound outside. I don't know if you can hear it. There's construction around my house right now. But, um, also, then you just subtract your attack from the enemy. There you go. So, also, I have my classes and swords and stuff like that you choose. It um, affects your starting stats. You can see right here if you choose warrior. Your max, your HP is um 100. Oh, I recently just added max HP. So, if your max HP is you know your max HP, your maximum health, and your health, the regular health um interval or variable is your current health. I made it like that because I'm going to put in health potions stuff like that later, health potions or something like that, or some type of way you can heal yourself. And I want to make it. I want to make it so you'll go up to your max HP. Your health equals max HP. Otherwise, it'll just be more complicated. Make it simpler like that. Iron sword adds his strength and stuff. Stuff like that. So I'll show you what I have so far. So you can see right here. Welcome to the C++ text space RPG. It's just called that right now. That's just a placeholder. I'm going to change it later when I actually think of a story in a... Um, Name and stuff like that. But that's just a generic title for now. So I'm gonna just choose warrior real quick. You um, type in the number that's next to the name that you want to choose. Just push enter. So I became warrior. Um, you know, class warrior, health 100, mana 50, stamina 100, and so on. So then I'm gonna choose my weapon. If you read this below here, a sword. Actually. Let me just make this easier for you to see real quick. Here. Okay. So I'm going to choose um, the sword. Since I click in here first. I've chosen the iron sword. Oh uh, man, I don't know if you can see this. My mouse is flickering. I don't know what's going on, but it might be cold blocks. I never recorded here before. It never happened before, but, um, so anyways, when I pick my armor, I'm just gonna pick iron armor real quick. So depending on your class, attack and fireball can do different, um, points of damage. Um, all classes can use magic, but some are weaker than others. In it. So, you know, let me choose fireball real quick. Oh, there are the rat stats, by the way. There's the rat stats. 
So I've dealt 5 damage. Its health is now at 15. The red deals 5 damage. So, you know, the fireball wing deals 5 damage. That's pretty weak. But when I attack, it's 25 damage. And I actually one shot it like that. Then engage sneak attack and sneak around down here. I haven't coded for sneak around yet though, but engage is basically just another combat session. So we don't have to show you that. I don't. Sneak attack is basically a stealth check. If you get it right, you do a critical. The stealth check failed because I only have my stealth is five. No, wait, that's not right. Is it? Oh, okay. My stealth is five. And the stealth has to be ten. So I failed. So I'm going to show you another. So I'm going to go choose, um, or actually, I want to show you what happens if you die. But I'll show you something else first. So I'll choose Rogue, Dagger, Leather Armor. And you can see my stealth this time is 30. That's a lot more. Actually, the default is less than 30. It's like 20, but the dagger adds 10. I'm going to change the layer for critical because it wouldn't make sense like that. So, attack is 7 damage. Fireball is 5 damage. I guess the rogue is pretty weak at the moment, which is probably why it's the hardest class. But I'm sure it'll be better later on. Um, when this goes into alpha and people send me bugs and feedback, if, um, the rogue doesn't work out for them, then I'll change it. So, let me just kill this rat real quick. Now I'll try sneak attack and see my stealth check passed. I crit for 14 damage, because my damage is usually 7. So, yeah. I'm going to show you what happens if I die also, in that I can die. So let's go to the first enemy. You can see right over here. The enemy strength. I'm going to change it from 15 to 150. I'm going to build it. I'm going to run it. And see what happens. So, I'm going to choose, um, yeah, why not, mage, staff, and the cloth armor. I'm going to attack with fireball. That deals 25 damage. Oh, wait, I did that again. I didn't mean to do it. I do this sometimes. It wouldn't make sense like that. I killed the rat before it could kill me because I attacked first. Let's try this over time. I'm going to attack it. It deals 5 damage. The rat attacks. The rat deals 150 damage. And I die. So. Well, that's all I have to show you for now, guys. I'll probably have another update in about a week or two. Possibly. But it won't be until I get something a big, something big that happens to my game. But anyways, it's been Wolf and Rod. See you guys later.